delighted and honored to introduce Governor Larry Hogan. Well, thank you, and uh, good afternoon. Well, uh, thank you for being here as we recognize a great Marylander and celebrate the incredible work being done across our state on behalf of a very important mission. Kelby, thank you for that nice introduction. And uh, thanks to you and your staff in the governor's office of the deaf and hard of hearing for the great work that you do each and every day. Um, our administration is focused on finding ways to improve the quality of life for all our citizens. We want to make our state a better place to live, go to school, work, raise a family, and retire, including Maryland's more than 1.2 million deaf and hard of hearing citizens. As Kelby mentioned, last spring, I was proud to sign the biliteracy bill, which grants bilingual students graduating from Maryland's public high schools the opportunity to receive a seal on their high school diplomas signifying uh, biliteracy skills. And American Sign Language, or ASL, was specifically recognized in this bill for the first time as one of the eligible languages. I also signed into law another bill last year expanding the hearing aid loan bank to include all children under the age of 18. Kelby represents the governor's office uh, on the Maryland Early Hearing Detection and Intervention Advisory Council and has worked hard to educate parents on the risks of language deprivation, which is an easily preventable public health issue. This is a very worthy cause, and there are many people involved in this great effort. And one of those individuals is our guest of honor here with us today. You probably know Niall DeMarco as the winner of America's Next Top Model and Dancing with the Stars. Let's give him a round of applause. <laughs> but at the young age of 27, Niall is using his growing celebrity and his numerous talents uh, for good by promoting a cause that hits very close to home for him. Raised in Frederick, Maryland, Niall is just one of more than 25 deaf people in his family. His twin brother, an older brother, his parents, grandparents, and great-grandparents are all deaf. And Niall is a proud graduate of the Maryland School for the Deaf, where he received a top-notch education. And we're very pleased this afternoon to have uh, students and teachers, as well as School Superintendent James Tucker, here with us today. Let's give them a round of applause for the Maryland School for the Deaf. <laughs> um, Niall's older brother, Neil, is also with us today. He's a physical education teacher at the Maryland School for the Deaf. And let's, uh, let's give him and his family and everybody at the school a big round of applause again. I'm going to try the applause like this. <laughs> Niall went to college at Gallaudet University in Washington, D.C., where he graduated with a degree in mathematics uh, with plans to become a math teacher. He told me earlier, just before we came out, that uh, his degree in mathematics helped him with the dancing <laughs> when he couldn't hear the music. He said he's got great vision, and the math helped a little bit, too. Uh, but uh, while his career path didn't go exactly as he planned, uh, Niall has been very successful and has used his platform as an actor, dancer, and model to become a teacher in his own right. He recently established the Niall DeMarco Foundation, 
where he works with parents and families to ensure that deaf children receive the same opportunities that he did. And the foundation's main goal is to improve access to sign language education for deaf infants and children and to increase bilingualism in academic settings. Niall has made it his mission to help deaf children become confident and independent in a hearing world. Because as Niall puts it, every child deserves love and language. I want to again thank all of you for being here today and I especially want to thank Niall for the incredible work that he's doing on behalf of all of the citizens of the great state of Maryland. And Niall, I want you to know, as governor of the state, how proud all of us are to have you as a Marylander. And I want to present you with an official governor citation, if I could. This one says, uh, I'm going to read it from here. Be it known that on behalf of the citizens of this state, in recognition of your outstanding accomplishments, efforts, and leadership in the community, your advocacy and commitment to bringing attention to bilingualism in addressing language deprivation among deaf and hard of hearing children. And the state of Maryland joins together in acknowledging that your actions make a real difference and wishes you the best in your future endeavors. We're pleased to confer upon you this governor's citation signed today by myself, the Lieutenant Governor, and the Secretary of State. So congratulations, Niall. Thank you. I just want to say uh, one last thing. 